in this lab, we will be investigating the difference between endothermic and exothermic reactions. What's the difference between an endothermic and an exothermic reaction? In an endothermic reaction, energy is absorbed and a drop in temperature occurs. In an exothermic reaction, energy is released in the form of heat. In this lab, you'll be performing two different experiments. You'll make a cold pack and a hot pack. For this lab, you need sodium bicarbonate, citric acid, you need a graduated cylinder to measure your water, a Ziploc bag, some water with a pipette, another Ziploc bag, and some calcium chloride. The first thing you want to do is put a scoop of sodium, bar sodium bicarbonate into the plastic bag, and then you also want to put a scoop of citric acid into the plastic bag. The next thing you want to do is measure out 10 milliliters of water using your graduated cylinder. After you have measured out your 10 milliliters of water, you want to pour it into the bag and quickly seal it. We are making our cold pack this time. You want to record your observations on the paper. Make sure you record what does it feel like. What does it look like? What is happening to the energy in it? Record all of these observations on your paper. Make sure you do pass the baggie around your group so everybody gets the opportunity to feel it and see what's taking place. All right? This is your cold pack. Is this endothermic or exothermic? Now we're going to do our hot pack. You want to set the reaction that you just did into a sink just to make sure nothing happens to it. Now we're going to do our hot pack. You want to put one scoop of um, calcium chloride into the plastic bag. After you put one scoop of calcium chloride into the plastic bag, you want to measure out 5 milliliters of water using your pipette and your graduated cylinder. And remember, you want to be as close as possible to the 5 milliliters. If you're a little over, a little under, it's not a big deal. You're going to pour your water into the plastic baggie and then quickly seal it just like we did before. All right. Mix it around and record your observations. Give everybody the opportunity to feel it. What does it feel like? It should start to warm up or get hot. What do you see? What's happening to the energy? Is this an endothermic or an exothermic reaction? Record your results on your paper. You have now felt the difference between an endothermic and an exothermic reaction and have learned a little bit more about them. Answer the rest of your questions on your lab and we'll discuss them at a later time.